Hi, it's Michael Taylor from Trackworthy, and today we are at the Porsche Sport Driving School. This is something that Porsche started in 1973. And for the past 43 years, they've expanded from their first school in Germany and are now operating in 16 countries around the world. Today is the launch of the Porsche Sport Driving School Canada. So participants who come for the full two-day program for $2,495 plus HST will get the entry into the world of driving a Porsche at speed. There are four levels of this school and graduates who go through all levels, not all of which are available in Canada. You'd have to go into the US or other countries to do the other levels. But once you graduate from that fourth level, you can start to participate in very competitive series like the Porsche GT3 Cup series. We're at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park today. This is the driver development track. But over at the main Grand Prix track, which we a lot of us refer to as Mosport, today there is a Porsche GT3 Cup race over there. And some of those participants may have started off in this school, and some of those participants are instructors for this school. So the day will start off in the classroom. Very short, 30-minute intro to the course. The instructors will tell us what we're about to go through. Instructors will explain a little bit about the dynamics of a car, especially at speed. Weight transfer to the front and to the rear, accelerating, braking, cornering, various traction levels. So there will be three components to today's activities. One is braking, get the car going up to 80, 90, or 100 kilometers an hour, and then hard on the ABS brakes. There's the autocross, which will involve slalom course, and then following white lines and cones, and then braking in a specific spot. And the granddaddy of them all will be getting out onto the driver development track in half a dozen Porsche 911 Carrera 2 S's, and half a dozen Porsche 718 Cayman S's. Let's go. This driver comes in, it's on the brakes in a straight line. You can see those tail lights come on. Comes off the brakes, coasts to the center, and now starts to pick up the throttle. So again, on the gas pedal, straight line, into brakes in a straight line. As we turn in, we bring our foot off the brakes, coast, and from the center off, we get back into the gas pedal. So one of today's exercises is the autocross. We all get into Porsche 718 Cayman S's and head down through the slalom course, follow the white lines and the cones, and then stop in the box. Otherwise, there's a 10 second penalty. Porsche is a very competitive brand, and so they make this a competition. So all of the participants each day will vie for the lowest overall time. And if you hit a cone, it's a two second penalty. And if you miss the Breaking zone, it's a 10 second penalty. Also on the agenda today is follow the leader. So two groups several Porsche 911s and a group of Porsche 718 Cayman S's. Instructors in the white car, as you can see. The gray cars are the participant cars. And you follow the leader through the course. And 
After one lap, the car following the instructor follows to the back and the next car goes ahead so that everyone gets to follow the instructor, uh, learn the line. They've placed cones around the track so that you know where to enter the corner, you know where the apex of the corner is, and you know where to exit the corner. And start off slowly, initially, and then uh, the group picks up speed as they get more familiar with the track. At the end of this uh, roughly half hour session, and the pace is quite good. So it's just a great way to experience these cars in their proper environment. Much more aggressive than on the road, not full on racing, you know, kind of in the middle or a little bit over from the middle. They're all PDK transmissions, so the instructor does encourage you to try just the default setting, and then on the steering wheel you can go to the Sport and Sport Plus, and it makes a huge difference. As you get more aggressive in the lapping sessions and you put it into Sport Plus, the car does an amazing job of gearing down for you, kicking it into the lower gears, keeping it in the gears as you're accelerating. And you really notice the difference when you put it back into the default mode. Um, the transmission's much more leisurely getting through the gears. Great ABS, there was a braking exercise as well. And you leave all of those nannies on. So obviously professional racing car drivers turn all of that stuff or don't even have it on their cars. But for everybody else here and this morning, the track was a little bit slick. You've got so much control, even though these are 911 Carrera S's with rear wheel drive and the Porsche 718 Cayman S's have rear wheel drive. And this morning in the wet, Full acceleration, the Porsche's traction control really does take care of making sure that you're not going to get into trouble accelerating, and the ABS is fantastic. It keeps you in a straight line as you're braking. And that's what you call a bunch of laps around the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park driver development track. Something like that. So that wraps it up. An incredible day. And again, we only did the half day, but for anyone participating in the full two-day experience, I think there's something seriously wrong with you if you don't have fun doing this. This is really, it's like kid in a candy store if you're a car nut. And you wanna talk about track-worthy cars? These are amongst the most track-worthy. As I said at the intro, you should never drive the cars the way we're driving them here on public roads. That's not what they're for. They are all about being unleashed in a controlled environment, and that's exactly what this is. Obviously, Porsche does an amazing job. They look after all the participants extremely well, and you come away learning a lot. If you've got the time and the $2,495 Canadian plus HST, um, you will have a very hard time finding something better to do with two days. And uh, don't forget to tune in for lots more content on Trackworthy, and uh, we'll see you soon.